Hey there, let's talk about the ankle fat pads and how to identify a tibio tendon joint effusion. On the lateral radiograph of the ankle, we can identify three fat pads, which are loosened or darker as compared to the surrounding soft tissues. The first one is the anterior tibio tendon fat pad, just anterior to the tibio tendon joint. Know that it gets displaced with a tibio tendon joint effusion. The second one is the heel fat pad which is below the posterior coccygeal tuberosity and better evaluated and measured in MRI. Remember that it should always measure less than 2 cm. The third one, and most important, is the Kager fat pad, which is posterior to the tibiotator joint. The Kager fat pad is bordered posteriorly by the Achilles tendon, anteriorly by the flexor hallucis longus muscle and myotendinous junction, and inferiorly by the superior surface of the calcaneus. When normal, it looks like a triangle and has homogeneous lucency. A tibio tendon joint effusion is best evaluated in the lateral radiographs, and we see expansion of the capsule as shown by well-defined rounded densities anterior and posterior to the tibio tendon joint. Sometimes the distension of the capsule is so severe that it can extend posteriorly into the Kager fat pad as seen in this case of synovial chondromatosis. Note that the posterior aspect of the tibial tailor joint can accommodate more fluid or mass than the anterior aspect of the joint. In this case, the Kager fat pad is barely visualized as it is occupied by a distended tibial tailor capsule. Keep in mind that the Kager fat pad can also be effaced by inflammation and abnormalities of the adjacent Achilles tendon, in particular paratonitis or inflammation of the Achilles paratendon. Now you know. Thank you.